Hey everyone, it's Lenny and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to run through the frozen money. Now, I don't believe I have made an updated video on this. You guys can go ahead if you have Save Wizard and do the frozen money. Now with the next gen, um, I know this works on Xbox, so you can transfer your save over to next gen and obviously load your account on to an Xbox um, Series X, I think they are and do this as well. I do, I do know it works on Xbox Next Gen. Um, PlayStation 5, I have not had the uh, pleasure of actually hitting it on PlayStation 5. I have heard people say that it does work. I have heard people say it doesn't. So for me, I haven't got it to work. I will explain a little bit of what I know when we get there, but um, I'm on PS4 and obviously I've loaded the save up because I'm at 811 under the map with Franklin. And I simply just want to go to an online session. So go to an invite only. It's It loads the quickest. Okay, once you're here, you will need to have the money to um, purchase the items. Obviously, the money is frozen, but you will still, the game will still need to be able to register that you can buy the item itself. So you must have the money. And obviously, the garage is owned and the property is owned that you want to purchase the vehicles into. You will need a friend that you can spectate as well. Okay, so just go ahead and jump in the comments and ask around if you can get help with this um, and obviously yeah add some people and take advantage of this frozen money that is still working but obviously it's a workaround so once you go to online come back to story mode and you'll be impotent rage like this all right now Simeon's gonna keep calling you it doesn't matter if you answer or you just keep handing I do answer the call at the end but I'm gonna show you just here if you go over to when you press pause go to the game area you can actually upload the save to next gen okay so you can actually upload this to the next generation of console and try to do it on there so as i said ps5 couldn't get it to work but i know that xbox is uh it's working like a charm over there so you guys can take advantage if you have the required items now on ps5 i've heard that you need to use the priority plant over near ls um near the lsia the airport which is over near the mechanic shop there but I always use this um, priority plant on PlayStation 4, which is at the baseball field. So um, just going over that again on PS5, I have heard if you use that priority plant over near that mechanic at the LSIA, that's what gets it to work on PS5. But I cannot confirm that it's, that it actually works on PS5. So we're here with the priority plant, um, just showing you again where it is. So this is the one that's at the baseball field. You want to hit right D-pad. So you can interact with it and eat it. My door is just sort of deciding to open and close on me right now. That's why it's squeaky. Um, so yeah, once you eat the plant, you're going to get this animation and you're going to spawn out as the animal. What? Now, doesn't matter what animal you spawn out as, just give it about 20 seconds. I'll fast forward the gameplay here, as you can tell. Um, once you hold right D-pad, it'll, it'll end the hallucination. Okay. What's going to happen is on this part you're going to get a white screen and then it's going to flick to a colored screen like that okay you, got, you can press pause on the colored screen now on ps5 that may take a while for this color screen to come through um, i have noticed that but yeah you need to make sure this that screen in the background is like red white and green like that you want to go you press the pause tab go over to your friends friend's name and go to spectate now your friend is going to have to be in a uh, session where he, you can spectate him so make sure they're not in the invite only session just in a public session or in a job from a public session once you've done that the black screen will go away go over to the online tab and hover over close friend session okay sit here for about 20 seconds once you're ready to go you want to spam the accept button so on playstation that is x so you want to spam the X button. And what, what you'll notice is once you hit the X button, you keep hitting it to accept everything. You're going to get a few alerts in the background that you don't quite see, but you need to accept all those alerts in the background after you've hit go to close friend session. Okay, you're going to load up. It's going to fade to a black screen. Um, and then you'll notice that you'll be spectating your friend. Now, just make sure that that friend, I know I've said it for the second time, make sure that friend is in a public session or a friend session. They have the spectate tab turned on um, and it does help if they're in a mission. Okay, so you can see there that um, my friend is in Titan of a Job, which is actually me on my other PS4. Um, so just make sure that you have that ready to go. Okay, so just hook up with people in the comments here, add, add some people, say you need help. Someone will help you um, if that's, yeah, that's probably the best way I can suggest if you don't have friends or you've got a new account. 
to do this. Right, so we are here. All you want to do is just quit out of the screen. So you just back out and accept it. And then what will happen is you'll load to a public session from here. Now that's the workaround. That's the workaround on how to get online and not get kicked. And to be able to take advantage of the frozen money. You will notice that your character will be glitched out a bit differently now. Okay, I have a female character on this one. Um, it goes to a male, as you can see. And they have like a sort of a default outfit happening. Um, I just went to enable passive merge so no one tries to like kill me while I'm in this public session. And you can notice here that my RP tab, like up the top of the screen, is like glitched out. So you can go ahead, press your interaction menu in and go and buy some go and buy some ammo and just to make sure that you are frozen. But if you've got what you can see on my screen just here, you'll notice like, yeah, you're pretty much glitched out, ready to go for the frozen money. Now with this, okay, you can buy lots of stuff. Obviously the best thing to do is buy vehicles that you can sell. Um, you can go ahead and fill up your hangar with the aircrafts. Okay, that's what I did here. Um, so just purchase what you want. Now there is some items that you cannot purchase or I would not suggest to purchase. Um, apartments and buildings, you must, must own them before this, okay? Otherwise, when you come back on to save everything, they won't be there. You can do Pegasus vehicles. You can buy Pegasus vehicles and save them once you go to the next part. When you're getting to save everything, you can purchase some of the special vehicles as well. So the special vehicles that I'm talking about are the nightclub vehicles, uh, the facility vehicles. So those ones there, you can purchase and you can save them without any issues. I do not suggest to purchase your, like, obviously your service vehicles like your Kasaka and Avenger, MOC, things like that, because you can actually get a dead spot from that, okay? So don't, please don't do that. Um, also, the RC vehicles, do not purchase RC vehicles with this method. You can go ahead and purchase the yacht as well. Um, I will show you how to save that once you purchase it. Um, but that's pretty much it. You, you, you sort of want to do this glitch to buy Deluxos or Scramjets or Vigilantes and sell them over time to make like lots of money. All right. So obviously there's trade prices on these vehicles. So if you already unlock the trade price, I would look for the next vehicle that is worth the most. Um, so I usually go across to the Scramjet. So I always, always usually have Act 2 set up on my account, which means I have the trade price for the Deluxo. So once you've um, waited online, so I just wait for about 5-10 minutes just to make sure all the vehicles get delivered. Once you have done that, you simply just want to go back to story mode. So just press pause and go to leave to GTA Online. Okay, you will spawn back down in story mode with Impotent Rage. Now we are... It is a bit different here. We don't have to get a um, different targeting mode alert or anything like that. So once you spawn down, you can simply press pause, go to online and go to invite only session. Okay. You're going to spawn in and you're going to be unfrozen. So you can go ahead and save all the vehicles that you just purchased and you'll be back to your normal character. Okay. So I basically bought Deluxos and Mark II Oppressors and Planes. I bought the yacht and I bought some of the special vehicles that I did mention before. Now to save the Pegasus vehicles, okay, you're going to have to call each Pegasus vehicle out. If you bought the yacht like I did, it's always going to revert back to the cheapest yacht. So you just go ahead and apply the um, bods the, to your yacht that you want to have and um, save it. So you will obviously not have to pay the $6 million um, to purchase the first yacht, but you'll have to purchase the next bit to actually um, upgrade your yacht how you want it. All right. Um, and then that is saved. Now go ahead and call out all the Pegasus vehicles that you have purchased. Okay, just make sure they show up on the map. If you're a lower level, you'll notice that some, you, sometimes they won't save. Um, that's just something that happens. But yeah, I'm a level 15, I think, on this. And I managed to save them all. Now we have to go to every garage and save our, like, save the vehicles that we just purchased. Okay. Once you do that, once you swap them around with the vehicle map, little mini map thing that you can, little blue circle, just change your outfit, make sure you get a save symbol and move on to the next garage. So you have to do this for every garage that you buy vehicles for. Now the nightclub vehicles, you just simply want to go into the nightclub and just change something on the um, the pounder and the, I can't think of the other one, but the two big vehicles there. Just change something on it, change your outfit, 
and then you can go save the next. Um, I'm in the arena now. You can purchase the Cerebuses on this as well. I didn't mention at the start, but you can actually purchase this. I did forget to do that. But just make sure you change something on them like you did see me do the nightclub vehicles and obviously swap around the vehicles that you've purchased in the arena. Change your outfit, get a game save and move on to the next garage. Go across the night arm um, to the the hangar. Okay, I just purchased all the aircrafts that I wanted and I bought a heap of bombushkas to sell. Um, but just make sure you swap them all around. It can get confusing in here in the hangar to actually swap everything around, but um, definitely, yeah. Just make sure you go through and save them all. MC, save everything at the MC and change your outfit. So basically wherever you purchase vehicles or wherever you purchase a vehicle that holds position, just make sure you save it by swapping it around and changing your outfit. Now with this thruster here, I couldn't actually press right D-pad to save it. So what I did, I just drove it outside and drove it back inside again. Now that's what you'll have to do if you don't have the option to save these special vehicles. Um, the, the Kanjali here, as you can see, I can press right D-pad. I just changed something on it that saves it. Now, with this state of being glitched out, you can actually make yourself some pretty cool little outfits like you see that I'm wearing in the background there. So just I run through real quick how to do it to just apply the air racing suit. Okay, just any one you want. Okay, once you do that, go to the tops. Now you can mess around with this and do a bunch of stuff. So just obviously take advantage of it and check it out what you can actually do. Um, then you can apply the racing jersey. As you can see, I have the shoulder pads from the air racing suit and the belt. I put the racing jersey on, I go over to the accessories, I put on some gloves. Okay, I'm gonna go look for the motocross gloves and you can actually reapply the gloves that are actually supposed to be on this racing jersey. So you'll have to put that back on. So there they are, pop them back on. Now you can actually just purchase a top and make sure that you have all that glitched out stuff on. Okay, take advantage of that. Just have a play after you've saved all your vehicles and you can make yourself some pretty cool outfits. So hopefully this video has helped you guys. I do appreciate you all. Um, definitely share it with your friends and I will see you in the next one.